Hey there, friendlies, how's up? Uh, at the time I'm shooting this, it is Christmas Eve, just after 9.30, 9, 9.30 or so. Uh, it's about minus nine. Uh, kids are inside watching a Christmas movie, so here I am, back outside again. Let's get a little more light up here, shall we? Very simple video, minimal editing, because I'm shooting it and editing it on my phone due to my editing computer being completely um, messed up right now. And frankly, I'm tired of losing episodes. So, I didn't think I was gonna have a Christmas whiskey this year because the, um, frankly, the shelves at the SEQ have looked like that. Uh, supply issues due to the plague, and then of course the warehouse workers were on strike. They've signed a deal. It's gonna take weeks for it to all get cleaned up. So anyways. I saw one lone bottle, however, of old Paltney Hutter. This is my first Paltney, so I'm very excited. Um, let's pop it open and then chit chat a little bit. Yeah, a little hard to get the top off. It's it's a nicely put together box, though. Very nice. All right, let's get that out of the way. That's a really unique looking bottle, eh? Good old Pulteney. Good old Pulteney. Old Pulteney. Doesn't that have a beautifully British sound to it? Like old Pulteney, it sounds like it should be a, like an ancient theater in the West End of London or a, like a police institution somewhere in the Northlands or something. However, it is not. Good sound. There we go. Poured myself a wee dram. Put that there. Turn up the, uh, the light a little bit. So, old Paulding. Okay, it started in uh, like 1826 in Wick. This is like in the highest of highlands. This is really far north right up there on the coast of the North Sea. According to what I've read and everything, it gives most of their malts a, a really nice briny element, which sounds exciting to me because I love that. Their core range, I think, has five. There's a 12, 15, 18, 25, and the Hutart. Uh, what does Hutart mean? That's just apparently the name of the street that the uh, Pulteney Distillery is on. So, uh, from what I've seen about this bottle, they say nothing. First of all, um, I just want to mention something here. This is not going to be a full-on review because I, I can't get my most of my graphics and stuff going on. I may be able to get use my phone to at least put my logo on it somewhere. But anyways, I'm not going to bore you with all those details. Uh, and also, this is my Christmas whiskey. I'm not going to be, you know, doing the whole checklist and everything. But I will say, it does say nowhere anything about an age statement. It does say nowhere anything about either cold uh, chill filtering. Sorry, I say cold because, you know, uh, chill filtering or uh, caramel color. I have started looking up whiskeys on German online retailers, and I have discovered that this is both chill filtered and caramel colored. What's interesting about the Hutter, uh, which is why I'm glad I've, this is like the one Pulteney, the one bottle, in fact, it was like alone on the shelf is that this is their subtly peated one. Now what they do is they do their standard aging in the bourbon barrels and then finish it off in uh, barrels that had been used uh, for peated malt. So I'm expecting a little bit of a smoky peaty flavor, but not kind of, not like a full on peated malt. What else can I tell you about them? Not much. Okay, they're owned by uh, International Beverage, which is like the international arm of Thai Bev. Uh, and they own a whole bunch of labels. Uh, Anok is one of theirs, in fact, I think. I, I pine for the days when distilleries were all independent, but that's just not the kind of world we live in. Because I don't have an age statement here, I'm not doing a minute in the glass per year in the cask. Okay, so I'm just gonna get that out of the way. I'm gonna pick this up. I'm not gonna bother giving any notes about the color because it's caramel colored. So I can't tell you that's a beautiful color because I don't like caramel coloring. And the nice thing when you're coloring your juice is that you can kind of pick whatever color you want. 46%, by the way. Not cast strength, but at least it's north of 45, right? Okay. 
um, right off the bat, what am I getting here? It's, um, it's a bunch of things. Green apples right off the bat. Like, boom. I get that with a lot of scotches, of course. Um, the vanilla, the caramel comes from the, the bourbon barrels. There's a little bit of smoke. Not a lot. There is a, a, a touch, a hint, just an aperçu of smoke on the nose. Kind of doesn't seem like a peat smoke, though. It's almost like a campfire, like a really light. And that's interesting. Uh, some honey. Very nice smell. All right. Let's, uh, let's give it a tasty poo, shall we? Go to the palate, as we say. Mm. Yes. Okay. There's definitely that vanilla, there's that caramelly butterscotch thing that we expect with uh, the bourbon barrels. But there's a spice there. Maybe a touch of nutmeg there. Mmm. And the brine is there. There's, there's, there's a salt. Do you guys know, like, um, um, uh, I'm trying to work, think of what uh, fleur de sel is in English. Uh, salted caramel. Right? Because of the bourbon barrels and the brine, it's got a really nice sort of salted caramel effect. Very nice in the mouth. Nicely oily. Not too oily, but nicely oily. Very fresh. The green apple is definitely still there. The spice is something... Like, it's not quite a baking spice. It's not quite like a... Like a like a cracked pepper, it's somewhere in the middle. The smoke in this is subtle, man. It's just, just a touch there, and I'm surprised that it's not a peated smoke. Uh, I have a, a set flavor profile in my head when someone says briny. I'm expecting a peat smoke, a brine, like salt water, punch kind of thing. It, it, there's no punch. It's not watery, it's just the flavors are very mellow. Very nice. Uh, if this is my intro to Pulp I definitely want to try something else. 46%. Like, as I said, I'm not doing a full-on review, so I'm not going to give it a, uh, a mark. I'm also not going to destroy it with the water. I see no point. I, I wish there were three things happening here. I wish that this was non-chill filtered. I wish there was scotch mist happening here. I wish this was uh, not caramel colored because I would like to know what this stuff looks like when it comes out. <clears throat> and I wish this was like 50% rather than 46. It sounds like a really small amount, but the difference between 43 and 46 is pretty big, you know? Oh, oh Pultney. Nice. Okay, it's not an integrity bottling, but it's a pretty good beverage. Uh, yeah, I'm glad I bought it. And the price was, it was under a hundred bucks. So, uh, because it's going to be Christmas in just a few hours, I will try to get this edited and up so that I can say happy Christmas. Um, and I hope that 2022 treats us all any better than 2021 did. <laughs> As I always say, if you like what I'm doing, then please do the following three things. One, comment down below. What are your thoughts on the Pulteney? Is there another one that I should try if I can find it in Quebec? Two, share this video. That helps me more than you could possibly imagine. And three, <clears throat> excuse me, leave me a smiley thumb. If you don't like what I'm doing, that's all right. Leave me a frowny thumb. Thanks for watching, guys.